No, is calling the yeah. Democrats critique of his response a hoax. How would the overall response to this virus have been different if you were president? would have been fundamentally different. We set up a whole system on the Ebola virus and with, with the Ebola disease that we were all concerned about, a trans-pandemic disease that existed. And look, right now, you have this president hasn't allowed his scientists to speak, number one. He has the vice president speaking, not the scientists who know what they're talking about, like Fauci. Number two, they haven't even prepared a test kit to determine whether or not anybody has the virus. They're not even available. They say now they'll be available in, a, in the, by the end of the week or next week. They haven't set up a pattern on, on how to proceed. They don't, they, they've cut the funding for the CDC. They've cut the, the, the Center for Disease Control. They've cut the funding for, they've tried to cut the funding for NIH, the National Institute of Health. They have eliminated the office we set up we set up in the president's office to deal with pandemic diseases. This has been outrageous, the way they proceeded. They should let the scientists speak. I've been talking about this for a while. They, haven't, they don't even have a test kit, a test kit to determine whether or not someone has the disease. But this is about knowing where it is, who has it, and how to deal with it. And I, I, I see... I, I see no preparedness other than a political talking points, putting someone in charge who is not a scientist and not and muzzling the scientist. Mr. Look, Fauci's been here in anyway, all the way back to the Bush administration. He, What's going on here? This is not a democratic hoax. This is incompetence on the part of the president of the United States at the expense of the country and the world. Mr. Vice President, thanks for your time this morning.